Marlston offers truly testing pheasants close to London. This is heavily wooded rolling country. You will find a wide variety of shooting here, from wooded rides through open downland to classic driven forestry. Guns will convene on the shoot lodge uh, in the morning, kind of nine-ish, for, as I say, a cup of coffee and, uh, or a cup of tea or whatever. Um, and um, then we usually move off at sort of half nine-ish, that type of thing. The organisers have created a shoot to be proud of, where birds fly well and provide tremendous sport for guns. Uh, we have a couple of thousand acres we shoot over. Uh, the Marston side and the Buckbury side, two separate estates, um, they're relatively equal size. Uh, we're uh, being on the edge of the Berkshire Downs, um, we have some pretty good uh, undulating ground um, and uh, have a great keeper who throws a nice pheasant. Um, we've got a lot of set, a lot of set aside um, and or had a lot of set aside uh, and a lot of woodland which uh, makes, for, makes for many varied drives, it makes for things a bit more interesting. After the first drive, we first or second drive, depending on how the guns want to do it, we provide them with a homemade slow, slow and plum gin. Marston is a convivial shoot. From there, we ran on to Lodge Cops, um, which is a drive that when we designed, uh, the keeper and I had quite a bit of uh, quite a bit of disagreement on. Is the answer? He he was annoyingly completely right um, but it's a quite big it's a three and a half acre uh, maize sorghum mix um, we've got pampas grants uh, grass uh, launch points that we put into these things to hold the pheasants before we uh, we throw them and then we throw them from that that cover over uh, some big deciduous woods uh, wood rather uh, to a line of guns standing in the bottom behind them and they're yeah they're, they're, they're quite impressive the um the, the prevailing wind runs across there, so any breeze at all gives them quite a nice curl. Um, and um, it, it's, I think it's one of our better drives. Marlston boasts 26 different drives across 2,500 acres. Uh, we have a, a wide range of drives. We have the standard, let's drive a wood uh, over <clears throat> a line of guns back towards a pen. Um, and then we have a lot, of, uh, a lot of different drives. We have a number of drives where you are standing in the wood, standing on a ride in the wood, so it's a, a certain amount of snap shooting. There are plenty of shooting days to choose from at Marlston. It runs 30 a year. You can have a day of 100 birds upwards. The bag will usually include pheasants, French and American crosses as well as ringnecks, English and French partridge, mallard, teal and vermin species. We put uh, nearly 50 acres of, um, of maize sorghum game cover down, um, so we do quite a bit of uh, game cover driving. It, it's all quite varied, it adds to, adds to the interest of a day. It also allows us to tailor days towards uh, the size of the day um, and the, uh, the line of guns who turn up. Lunch is provided and the shoot organisers look after their guests here. It takes place in front of an open fire at Marlston's comfortable shooting lodge in the heart of the estate. Usually we do four before lunch and one after uh, and I have the beaters blanking in some, some pretty, pretty substantial areas um, over lunch or over half of lunch um, into making the one drive that we put on into in, in making it a proper, a proper job as it were. Marlston commands loyalty from both its beaters and its regular guns. We have a syndicate who shoots six days a year um, and there's always pressure for those, for those spaces is the answer. Um, even now in a recession, surprisingly, there is always, always pressure on those slots. We get a lot of repeat business. Um, probably three quarters of our business is, is just last year happening again. Marlston is a popular shoot made more popular by its relationship with GunsOnPegs.com, where shooters go to find good shoots. We've worked with Guns on Pegs for, um, for quite a few years uh, and found it to be fantastic, frankly. Um, we don't really have any lettings pressure 
at all. Um, if we have days to sell, then we have a pretty easy, easy, easy go of it. Uh, and I think as much as anything else, because a combination of word of mouth and uh, and guns on pegs is, um, you know, all really all we really need to do. Its convenience for the capital makes Marsden a popular choice among shooters in South East England. Obviously, being an hour out of London and being in proper countryside, you know, this is this is not Western Slough. Um, we're in, you know, it's a proper rural area. This estate has, I think, 20 cottages on it, uh, you know, over 2,000 acres. It, it, it does, it's really very unbuilt up, um, but being incredibly accessible. It, it takes an hour, an hour and a half to get here from central London. The shoot motto, quality over quantity. As far as I'm concerned, more important than anything else is that the quality of our pheasants needs to be something that after most of a lifetime of shooting, that I want to shoot at. Um, if we were, yeah, if we were pillowing uh, a lot of our pheasants, then, then frankly, it, uh, I would find it pretty unworthwhile, and I would, I would probably give it up. Is the answer, but that is not the case. Um, you know, there's, there's, there's always uh, a lot of memorable, memorable birds during these days. Is the answer, and you know, we got a lot of uh, our repeat business because of exactly that. Our people are. Our, our, our clientele is generally speaking very straight up and down. They, you know, if it wasn't if it wasn't for decent high pheasants, we wouldn't come back.